Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing well. So today's video is going to be my review on the Fenty Beauty collection. It's been a month now since the collection dropped, so and I did put my first impressions video. If you haven't already seen that video, go check it out. I don't really tend to get that hype for makeup these days, not for that long anyway, so but I know that hype is still going on because she is bringing out a Nova collection, the Galaxy collection, in a few days. The pictures have dropped and people are either excited or not excited. I don't know what's going on, but um, yeah. Obviously my first video was a first impression, so I thought let me do a review, a proper review, after like trying it out. So I'm gonna go through each product and like tell you how I feel about them. So the primer, the Pro Filter Primer, I didn't purchase, but I did have a sample. And for me, it did nothing in terms of oil control and that kind of thing. So after I filmed that video, I was literally a grease ball, it was crazy. I feel like it kind of helped to smooth out my skin while before I applied. You know, I did feel a difference when I applied it that day, but it's not something I reach for. I like my current primer that I use. The foundation. In the video, I used the shade 440, and everybody was like, this is the best shade match ever, and everything, and it's the perfect match, and all that kind of stuff, and it looked like it did on camera and obviously playing it back everything looked fine maybe with the lighting I don't know what it was but it certainly isn't my shade after I filmed that video looking in the mirror looking away from all the lights it was like this is looking kind of red you know and maybe like I thought maybe I must have contoured too much or put my powder over it or something there was a speculation of if the foundations oxidize they don't oxidize they actually just dry down to the actual shade so like you know like when you like paint a wall or something it dries to its actual color so it doesn't oxidize for me it was looking hella red like really really red so I thought okay maybe I'm not 440 then I must not because I'm actually neutral my undertone is actually neutral and I will give you like a swatch I will swatch my current foundation which is the Kat Von D Locket foundation and I use deep 78 neutral I'll show you what that shade looks like against 440 so I thought maybe I'm 430 so I went to get a sample of 430 and that was looking orange on me and from what I can remember I think 440 was cool but with red on the tones 430 was neutral but with, with some red and then the next shade up was 420 was meant to be um, neutral but I had a I had a sample of 420 and it looked kind of light on me so I was like maybe I'm not 420 then I well I can't be because it looks quite light on me so at the moment I'm stuck with like what is my shade I don't have a shade in that range my shade does not exist so it's like, do I just stick to 430 and just be hell orange? Or just not use the foundation at all? So I haven't since then. I did try it a second time. Try it a second time, you know, full face, not having to contour too much. And it was definitely red. This is the 440. So it's like, I'm definitely not 440. 430, look, 430 looks orange on me. So I'm either in, I'm kind of in between 420 and 430. I need to be more neutral. So I feel like maybe I might be 420 if I mix it with something else. I, I don't know. I really don't know. So it's been kind of annoying. I've not been able to use it. And I've been so like used to having to mix foundations. I'm just like, I'm, I'm tired of mixing foundations. I've actually found a foundation that suits my skin tone, perfectly matches me, which is a Kat Von D. So why not just stick to that? Hopefully with time she kind of extends her shade range and puts some in between shades like more actual neutral shades because most of her Most of her foundation shades most of the dark skin tone shades have a lot of red in them and we're not all red or we're not all yellow You know, so we're, there's a lot of in between us, you know, like me for instance I'm sure a lot of you probably might have might agree with me I don't know what your experience has been with the foundation, but I have seen a lot of like videos of people using two shades and I'm not here for having to make shades anymore, you know, having to buy two foundation shades. But anyway, the foundation itself, if you have oily skin, you have to use a primer because it's not gonna it's not gonna work. It does dry, it does dry down quite matte. Um, I think it's meant to be like a semi-matte or a velvety matte, I don't remember the, the description. And the way I do my foundation routine or my makeup routine is I use some powder first and then apply my this is before my prime after my primer apply powder and then my foundation. So in my T-zone area and that's what would keep it on for hours. It does stay matte for hours. So the foundation itself was advertised as being medium to full and I found it to be more of a light to medium because I had to you know build up quite a lot and I've also found that using a beauty blender kind of soaked up some of the product which meant I had to keep using more like a lot more pump because I thought oh it was it's not applying very well. I think the more effective way of um, using that foundation is probably to use like a 
a synthetic brush and you only could you could probably like put on like three pumps or four for me I am off a natural glam but you have to have like good skin your skin has to be hopping to rock the natural glam look so if you're gonna go for foundation that's not full coverage you would have to layer up more which means you'd you would go through this is the foundation by the way you'd go through the foundation quite quickly it is quite watery and everything so I, fa I found that using the beauty blender it, I had to use about four to six pumps so it was just it just wasn't covering everything and um, I broke out a lot more so I need to cover those areas and I found it in the first video like my forehead it wasn't covering up those areas properly and yes it's not meant to, it's not meant to be a full coverage foundation if you want to have more of an even finish you'd have to layer up a little bit more so if you're the girl who has good skin or you just don't mind having the not so evenly not so even application kind of thing then this will be a good foundation for you it's very it's like like I said it's, it is buildable so you can get that full coverage if you want to I wish my shade was there it would probably be like something else I would use because obviously it's nice to be able to try different things but unfortunately it's just not okay so the next things are the matchsticks which are like the concealer highlight contour shades so initially I was using latte in the video which I realized was the wrong was the wrong shade for me I was supposed to be suede but swatching them next to each other they don't look that far apart suede has a slight more yellow to it but not as yellow as I would usually use if you use LA Girl Fawn or the Kat Von D Deep 33 33 I think it's quite yellow and I, I'm, I'm all for more of the yellow concealer so under my eye it's supposed to be also kind of like a light coverage light medium coverage it's not bad if you're looking for that really light coverage I actually went back and bought suede I tried it it's not bad either it was actually fine blending was fine but when it came to the the contour shade which was espresso I had a little bit more trouble blending that obviously I tried it on my you know, cheekbones and then the, my perimeter of my forehead it's a little bit difficult to blend especially with the beauty blender and I know in the video people were like oh you have to warm it up or you were using the wrong brush and I'm thinking it's a blending brush so it, it's not the wrong brush it's just a smaller brush you know so for that I would also say to get a better like application a better technique with that with those products I would also use something that's kind of like a synthetic I don't know if, it's, if this is the right term a synthetic brush this is what I would use for the foundation so kind of something like this or something flatter that would work I'm gonna look, look for everything that's on my table right now I don't see why I actually want to show you but something like this that's kind of has like like that kind of like synthetic <laughs> synthetic hair feel to it I don't know what I'm saying and I'm supposed to know about makeup something like this would be probably better to blend blend it out with than like a blending brush I'm actually more of a um, like a liquid concealer contour girl I'd prefer to use liquid concealers you know just because it's easy to blend for me next things were the shimmer sticks and I really liked them I like the fact that she had lots of lots of shades to choose from and they're quite nice and I only got about three shades because I feel like you know I just I didn't need to, I didn't need to buy the entire collection but I liked how um, they applied to skin again is one of those things you have to use a brush for I think I really think her brush this is probably the one time I think her brush actually works well for this product works very well in terms of how to apply it I think it applies better with her brush but if you don't want to go for her brush again something that's kind of flat and you know wispy not too like dense will work very well in, in applying I don't like to use my hands when it comes to applying things I just I'm not really the hand user I'd rather use tools I'd rather use brushes so again something that's like kind of light just gonna give it a nice sweep of color so if you want some sort of some sort of glow to your skin nothing too fancy nothing too obvious nothing too brightening then those ones will go really well and then she had her duo her killer watts I only got um, trophy wife I would love to show trophy wife right now but I filmed this video this is the third time I'm filming this video and uh, I'll put the little clip in in this video what happened like you know oh it's kind of broken you know what this literally the entire thing just came off just broke Oh my gosh, it's literally on my floor, broken, oh god, wow, but yeah, you know what it looks like, and it's still on my floor, so, trophy wife is gone, have I reached for it since then, obviously I have not reached for it since then, it's not your everyday reach for highlight, it's not your everyday, you know, wearable highlight, it's a very, it's a very unique colour, and a lot of people were complaining about it, but you just don't, you don't have to buy it, like it's not by force, I think the best way to work with it is to use a light hand, 
and you can also mix with the other shade, the Killer Watch shades or maybe the um, Shimmer Sticks just to tone it down a little bit because it does have that green, that yellowy green tint to it which can be unflattering on some skin tones and in some lights. I think a lot of people are literally packing it on like it's not a pack on highlighter, it's very subtle, it's very it's not everyday, it's very unique. And some people try it, some people even tried it on their on their skin as well. The last thing is the lip gloss. That was the only thing that I have been using from the very beginning. But I have been rocking that lip gloss since I got it. The funny thing is I'm not actually one to wear lip gloss. I, I love my matte shades, and if I was to wear lip gloss, it'd probably be like just in the center of my lip. But I've been applying it onto my entire lip. So clearly I'm loving it, but it's, it's a very nice lip gloss. It smells very nice. It lasts for quite a while as well, despite you eating and drinking, whatever. They are good products, but it's a shame the foundation does not match me. And I don't, I don't know, like I said, I'm, I'm neutral now. So being red or being orange just doesn't look flattering on me because of the fact that the rest of my body is a little bit light, like my chest is quite light. So if I'm looking red on top, I'd have to now make my chest darker. It would just look a bit strange. Um, so yeah, it's it's a shame because like it's been it's amazing that she was able to bring out 40 shades all at once in her first launch, but there are still some people who couldn't find their shades. So I just I wish I'm hoping she kind of works on the undertones a little bit more and put in some in-betweens. Um, the blot powder was quite good. What's is it the Invisimat was quite good. It does, you know, do the do the work, but again, I have my MAC blot powder, which I always go for, which I always have in my bag, so I always just tend to use that. And, but I feel like maybe she made the powder and the paper because of the fact that the, the foundation does get quite oily, so it's just a matter of just touching up, blotting here and there. Yeah, the new launch is the for the Galaxy Collection. I've seen pictures and I'm just thinking to myself, I don't know. I don't know. It's a lot of it's a lot of glitter, a lot of shimmer, like no mattes, no transition shades. I mean, I think it was made obviously to be used over palettes. So I don't see myself putting all that glitter on my lids. I would need something definitely something matte. So I would probably incorporate it with another palette or something. The packaging looks amazing. I'm not gonna lie, it looks very nice. I do plan to get a couple, a few of the. The new collection. In terms of the lipsticks, I'm a matte girl. Like I'm just, if you look at my collection, I have a lot of matte or liquid matte. So the glosses look nice. They, they do have, they do look like really nice shades. And then the liners, the, the glitter liners. I think I'm probably gonna do like a full face Fenty. Once I figure out what my foundation shade is, I'll probably do a full face Fenty and um, just like to try out like, and then incorporate the new collection in that video. I feel like the eyeshadow palette is something I'm gonna put. In the center of my lids, not like I'm not. I'm not an all-over shimmer, all-over glitter girl. I like to put things in the middle, in the center of my lids. That's just how my eye, like right now, this is what I do. The whole halo effect thing. But um, yeah, that's it for the video. I hope this was helpful. If you still haven't found your foundation shade, please don't look at websites or what swatches online. Go to the store and swatch them yourself. Make sure you wait for it for a few minutes to dry. Just so you know how you know the shade what it dries down to and i hope this was helpful if you haven't tried it out and i would say definitely go for it if you are that girl who likes that natural look to her you know not too much going on but a little bit going on that kind of thing but that's it for the video thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next one bye guys